A concept we covered in the past two weeks and what I'm going to talk about today is talking about the moment of inertia and how it is applied. If you look up the definition of the moment of inertia into Google, it will tell you a quantity expressing a body's tendency to resist angular acceleration. It is the sum of the products of the mass of each particle in the body with the square of its distance from the axis of rotation. Perhaps confusing the first time you read this, what this definition tells us is that inertia is an object's resistance to rotation. When calculating the moment of inertia, the locations of the particles in the object are therefore very important. Specifically, where are they relative to the object's point of rotation? You can have the same shape rotating differently, and they will have different moments of inertias. For example, if a rod is spinning around its center, or if it's spinning around its end, we will have different equations for inertia, and therefore different moments of inertia. Similarly, a disc and a hoop can have the same center of rotation, but different moment of inertias because of, the par because of the particles in the object. Considering a hoop is hollow while a disc has many particles that are much closer to the center of mass, the moments of inertias are expected to be different. Notice the moment of inertia is calculated with a squared distance. Radius for spheres, discs, and hoops, and length is used for cylindrical shapes like rods. The distance is always squared and this is always multiplied by mass. Notice the only difference between all the equations are just a fraction which accounts for the object and how it rotates. What can be concluded from this is that no matter what the shape of the object is or how it rotates, all moments of inertia are affected by mass and length slash radius in the same way. This concept was explored on last Tuesday's problem, discussing a foam boulder rolling down an incline on a movie set. We considered a solid sphere, hollow sphere, and solid rod slash cylinder and were asked to analyze the final speeds of each. All shapes are expected to roll down the incline differently since the moment of inertia for each is different.